Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Vanessa B. Trippin. Y'all see Kiara up here? <laughs> and Josh Jackson. That over okay, whatever. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I am actually testing out my new ring light. Well, actually it's not new. I actually got it like over a year ago. So I just you like started today. Um, sometimes you just gotta dive in and just start doing what you need to do. So, um, I hope everybody is doing well and everything. I gotta do something with my hair, but for the time being, I think it's okay. But, um, guys, I am so happy right now. Like, I'm literally happy because of just the simple fact of what I need to do has been revealed to me. And it's been revealed to me, of course, by God. Um, we have to really be submissive to God's will, no matter how we may feel on the inside, no matter how we may feel um, when it comes down to our own emotions and stuff, because he knows us best. He knows what's the, like best for us and everything. So, But you have to be submissive to his will. He knows you inside out. He knows what's good for you, what's good for your children, what's good for everything. Like, if you're on a job and you're not wanting to be on that job, listen, you better be the best burger flipper, the fry dropper, the best fry dropper, the best um, cashier, the best janitor, whatever you are that you think that is low. Because people may look at that. You got to be the best at it because there's people out there that can't do that. There's people out there that, that, want, that don't even have hands. They don't have feet. They don't have the necessary, the required limbs to be able to do something with a job. So you wake up every morning and God gives you some, you know, he gives you something. He gives you life. He gives you breath and air to take in and everything. He gives you all of that so that you can go out and live in this world. So you got to be the best at it. Okay, I take calls every day on my job. And no, not all the calls are good, but you know what? I'm going to be the best at it. I'm going to do the best that I need to do to be, and be the best person I can be for that other person that's on the other line. Because I don't know what they're going through and or anything like that, but I know that my personality comes through that phone. And I'm here to help, so I'm going to help you. That's just how you do it. That's just how, how you do it. Um... You know, if you're gonna be the doctor, be the best doctor you can be. You know, if you're gonna be a lawyer, be the best doctor, be the best lawyer that you can be. Bus driver, whatever you are, just go and do it. Just go and do it. No matter how you feel, because you didn't have to be the one that God talked to the person and and showed them who you were through your application, through your resume, through your personality, through that that one-on-one -on -one interview. God did not have to do that, but He did. Okay, and then you have to be able to do your job to the fullest because God would then see that and then he'll promote you. You always like, oh, I don't want to go on this job and stuff. And you giving all that negative energy and that negative vibes. God is not going to bless you. To, he's not going to promote you. Okay, there's a saying that I try to go by like, okay, y'all know when you get a grant, you apply for the grant. You, you get the grant. Grant don't need to be paid back or anything. It's given to you. That's the way God's love is for you. Okay, you're granted access to his love. You're granted access to his wisdom, to knowledge through reading your Bible and reading your word and staying in the word. That's what that is. And God is going to speak through you to other people, whether it's just a simple smile or, you know, how, how's your day doing? How are you? You know, how are you? You never know the most. <laughs> the craziest situations can turn out to the best situations. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to make an example right now because there was a bad call that I had last week, okay? The lady called in all and I I work with um different things on my job. So one of the things that I work with are claims. And so the lady had <laughs> she called all I did my greeting, she said claims please. I'm like okay. I didn't change my energy. I didn't change. I didn't alter who I was because of her. I don't know what she has going on. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm here to do my job, not to, you know, cater to this lady. So that's one thing you have to do first is to not cater to somebody's negative energy. You don't have to stand for that. You can have a boundary for that. You you protect yourself. You protect your feelings, your heart, your peace, your mind. You protect all of that. 
And you can simply just walk away from somebody or give them their space. And then y'all come back together later and talk about it. But you do not have to give them that energy. If you feel yourself really get ready to go into a rage and match their energy, take a step back, breathe and say, look, I got to go. I got to go. I'm not going to do that. I got to go. And I promise you, it will protect your peace. And I don't know what they'll be going, they'll have going on, but that's just them, not you. Okay. So, um, but yeah, and always like, you know, offer just somebody that's somebody that's close to you, you know, offer, Hey, I'm here to talk to you when you're ready. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the time you're upset and there's nothing positive going to come out of this. So we need to chill and then we can come back to the problem and solve the problem always know also in a relationship it's not about you it's not about the other person it's about the problem don't bring up no past don't bring up no stuff that happened last night none of that stuff it's about the problem Okay, and the problem, everything should be res- like going back to God. You need to pray together. You need to figure out something, what the issue is, so that you can really get to the root of it, so that you can try to get past that. You understand? So, like that lady, it was like a 20 minute conversation. Okay, it was the most uncomfortable conversation I had to have with her because. Things that I had to verify with her. Why do you need that? Ma'am, it's the verification process. Ma'am, due to HIPAA. I had to tell her all this stuff. You know what I mean? And it's like one of those type of things where people already know. They already know what they're doing. They already know the attitude. They know already know it's stank. You know what I'm saying? They already know that stuff stank. They already know how, how grouchy they are. They ain't got to be told that. You know, they feel it. That they, They're the one who's producing that energy to you, which is crazy. So that lady... I ended up helping her, and it took 20 minutes of my time, okay? And I was like, wow. But by the end of that conversation, she was like, ma'am, she said, I'm so sorry if you feel any type of way. Um, I know I wasn't, you know, the um, the best person to talk to during this conversation, but you were calm and she said, the more calm you were, it was more, she said, the more just aggravated I got with my, with my problem that I was having. And that's crazy, right? Because your energy can actually make somebody even, like their tone can even get even worse, which is crazy. Because you, you're thinking, well, maybe if I'm being nice to them, they'll be nice to me. That's not always the case, you know, but they are recognizing that. And, you know, that, you know, this person was trying to help me, so... Let me just apologize to them or just say, hey, I was wrong. Okay. Um, I'm human too. I was in the gas station about a couple months ago and the lady was, <laughs> she had my, my car was locked. My car was locked, but I, I had, uh, I don't know if it was, if it was me or Jackson that messed up the mobile data button on my phone. It was not turned on. So I, when I tried to take, get my gas and stuff, it said network connection failure. I was like, what? And I wasn't realizing my mobile data thing was not connected. So the lady that was talking, she said, well, it's not our Wi-Fi. I said, I didn't say it was. I didn't have to say that. I didn't have to say that. I did not have to say that. And... That day I was mad about the whole situation because I was like, oh, my car. So I had to go all the way back home, turn on my Wi-Fi at my house, which was like less than a mile down the street from the gas station. But that's besides the point. But I'm like, this is crazy. So I real, I was like, you know what? I was rude to her. And when I see her, I'm going to make it right. So I went to the gas station and I saw her. I said, listen, I said, it was a day that da, da, da. I told her about it. I was like, listen, you may not even remember. She said, honestly, I don't. I see so many people. I said, but listen, I said, but my character was not a good way to present myself. And I don't present myself that way. I was aggravated with that situation, but you were not the situation. You were not the problem. And I shouldn't have said anything to you like that. She looked at me like, oh, okay. Wow. She's like, people don't really do that. When they're wrong, they don't really. It's a sense of pride, y'all. It's a thing of pride. People, they're like, oh, well, they deserved it at that point. They shouldn't have been talking to me at that point. They don't deserve the way you're treating them badly at that point. The way you're treating them, that's on you. That ain't got nothing to do with the person that you're, you're, um, 
projecting that onto. So, <clears throat> so guys, you have to understand, you know, like I said before, like the problem is the problem, not you, not the person that you're dealing with. The problem is the problem and you have to focus on that. And God, when he's centered in any type of relationship or anything, like with my children, I have the biggest relationship with them. One on one, I do one on ones with them. I spend time with them individually so that I can see their personalities. I can talk to them about whatever they need to have talked about, you know, whatever. Um, I spend time with them. And if there's an issue between us, you best believe my kids are going to tell me, you know, even Jackson, like he'll be three in May. And if I say something or whatever, he'll look at me like, he'll give me that look. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Huh? Did I? And I, he doesn't really, so to speak, know what that means, but it's like with his actions, it just shows me something is bothering him. So I try to make it right. Get in the habit of making things right with people. You have to forgive people who have done you wrong. You have to forgive people you have done wrong. That's just how you have to be. That is for you to clear your mind and to clear your heart and to have more peace in your life. You know, I know it's hard. To walk up to somebody and say, listen, I'm sorry, I was wrong. You know, my mother um, growing up, you know, she was a good mom. She did the best, best thing that she could for all of us. But it's like at the same time, sometimes she was not the greatest person to be around. And it was to the point where, you know, I, you know, we ended up like arguing so bad. Like, you know, and I just remembered a couple years before she passed, I asked her to forgive me. Because I was one of those teenagers that, you know, I was a teenager. There's nothing else to be said. <laughs> I was a teenager, you know. Um, I was learning my own way in this world. I was trying to figure out my way without my parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I listened to all the things that they had taught me and said to me. And I take that in. I took that in. And I, now I tell my children the same thing. So... You know, with that being said, like, my mother was like, yeah, I forgive you. Like, you know, my, I mean, because I was that kid. I was that kid. I was, I was re rebelling. And, you know, I didn't want to listen. I was the baby in the family. And I felt like, oh, I was entitled. I had, <laughs> I could do what I wanted. I'm the baby. But that's not the case all the time. It doesn't matter. And I have had to speak to supervisors. I've had to speak to people who, you know, of seniority. And I would tell them, listen, it doesn't matter what your title is, you're not entitled to keep, to, to, to really try to bring me down or to treat me a certain type of way because you feel like I'm down here, you're up there. It doesn't work that way. Respect is earned, not given. That's his point blank period. Respect is earned, not given. And I'm teaching my children this and y'all can say what y'all want to say, but this world is cruel and it ain't, it ain't letting up on the evil that's being produced into this world is not letting up. This is now at our fingertips of just becoming just as evil in this world. We can look up anything we want to. Back in the day, we we couldn't you look up nothing. We couldn't do anything. We read a book, and then what? Your parents will find it. Like what is this? If they don't find it, then they don't know what's going on. But. It's like the whole thing is just crazy now. Everything is at your kids' fingertips. Watch what they watch. Learn what they're learning. You know, see what they're taking in on a daily basis. Look at the history of their YouTube, you know. So it's like we have to be better parents. We have to because their blood is on our hands. That's something that's just you can't ignore as a parent because you don't want your kids to not be covered by God going in this world. They've taken God's name out of schools. Some kids can't even pray without even being looked at weird. That's crazy to me, you know, but I just said all of that just to say, y'all listen, you have to be submissive to God's will. You have to learn how to listen to God. You have to learn how to know the word and know what you're supposed to do as a person um, to be able to be able to um, like operate in this world. That's the way you're supposed to be. So, yeah. So, anyways, um, I have some new stuff that's coming up. Listen, I know I've had so many videos. Y'all probably looking at me like, like, yeah, when is that coming? What? 
But listen, guys, I have things that's coming up for me, and I'm I'm really excited about it. I've been working so hard with trying to plan things out and everything. And, yeah, so y'all see that. Just stay tuned. That's all I can say. Just stay tuned. Um, but I love you guys, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please tell somebody, know somebody, know somebody about Vanessa Be Trippin'. Um, Vanessa's voice is about to really be heard on the podcast. I have some things on there as well. But I really appreciate all the things that you guys, um, you know, just for even being one of those numbers on my subscribers list. I appreciate it. Um, I just encourage you to to have a great day encourage yourself you know pray to god learn how to hear his voice learn how to move the way he wants you to move okay he won't steer you wrong okay so yeah i don't like that little piece yeah it was the camera <laughs> yeah i know i'm a mess but um but yeah so thank you for watching and i hope you guys have a blessed tuesday um you know i I have some things that I have to do. I have to get in this closet and organize it. I have some house chores to do or whatever and um, some other stuff. But I love you guys. I hope y'all please be blessed today. Be a blessing to somebody. Go out there and be a blessing to somebody, whether it's just smiling or offer to open a door for somebody or something. All right? So I love you guys, um, and stay blessed. Thank you.